Hello and welcome back to the guide for Botania. Today we'll be going over Corporea Sparks, the blocks associated with them, and how to create a Corporea network. So without further ado, let's just hop right into it. The first thing I'll do is I'll go over all the crafting recipes for the different items you can make. Then I'll go over what each item does and how it can be used in a Corporea network. The first main thing you'll need is a Corporea Spark. To craft this, you need a spark, an ender air bottle, and a pixie dust. To connect all of these together, you'll need a master corporeal spark. This is made with a corporeal spark and a dragon stone. A corporeal funnel is crafted with a corporeal spark and a dropper. The corporeal index is crafted with four obsidian, two dragon stone, two ender air bottles, and one corporeal spark. The Corporea Interceptor is made with a redstone block and a Corporea Spark. The Corporea Retainer is made with a chest and a Corporea Spark. The Corporea Crystal Cube is made with one Corporea Spark, one Alf Glass, and a Dreamwood. So as you can see, I'm in this little storage area and I have some Corporea Sparks and other of the associated blocks set up here. I'll go over them in due time. The first thing I'll go over is the Corporea Spark itself. What this does is it works like a normal spark, but instead of transferring mana, it transfers, it transports items. So what you can do is you can shift right click this on any block that has an inventory, such as this chest here, it's associated with, and I'll do this one here as well. So you can see that there's stuff in here. So now if I want any of these, I can use these I can call these from these chests. One thing to note is that these corporeal sparks only have a range of eight blocks. If you go nine blocks away, it cannot be read, but you can chain these for pretty much almost infinitely, as long as the chunks are loaded. So now that these are associated with this, you need a way of, well, linking them together for a network. That's where the master corporeal spark is. This must also be placed on an item with an inventory. But one thing to note about the Master Corporea Spark is the inventory associated with it can't actually be read through the network. So if I would put a bunch of cobblestone in here, it actually won't be read by the network. So keep that in mind when you set it up. This chest could be used as where the items go that are recalled. Or maybe you can use it as some sort of dump chest. To go put in your network that's for you to decide one way to request items is with a corporea funnel now the way this works oops let me turn that off is this can request a single specific item that is associated with it as long as it has it in your network the way to decide what item it takes is you would take an item frame and an item you want. In this case, let's take some dirt. So you put the item frame and the dirt on it. And then when you give it a redstone signal, you can see I now have dirt in this chest. Now let me go back over here. This is where I have it. Let me just pop you back in there. So you can see it's empty. I'll give it a redstone signal again and dirt's in there. Now this might be a little tedious going one at a time if you want like maybe even a couple stacks. There's a way around that. Since this is in an item frame, when you rotate it, it actually increases the amount. So one rotation is two, two rotations is four, three is eight, four is 16, then 32, 48, and then 64. So now if I flip the switch, and let's do two times. I now have two stacks of dirt. And let's say I only want, let's go another, uh, let's say another 16. So I go one, two, three, four, boom. And then I get another 16 added on top. So I'll put all this back for demonstrations. So the corporeal funnel is a great way for calling a single item that needs to be taken out as long as it has a correct item in the frame associated with it. 
Now, let's say you want to do that with multiple items. Let's say I need some stone. Let's take some more dirt and maybe something else. This is where the corporea index comes in. What this the index does is it actually reads chat. So if I get close enough to where, as you can see, I'm within a decent range. And when you are, you see these little pink sparks that show up occasionally. This means I'm within range. So if I type something in chat, let's say, what item do I want? Uh, I know, let's go 15 stone. As you can see, requested 15 stone out of 512. And I have my 15 stone on me. So if you type it in chat, it will read it for you. Also, if you want, let's say you don't know exactly. Let's say I know I need two two stacks of stone as well as like 13 over for a crafting recipe. So I can go two stacks and 15 stone. It gives me 143, which is two stacks and 15 stone. And just so I don't have to keep pressuring it, I'll put that in there. This can be done for anything. So let's say I want that stone again. This time I want just two stacks of dirt as well. And maybe I want, you know, let me get one stack of iron. And take all that. But you can see 64 of iron is not there. That's the thing is if I go to my chest, I have a link and you can see I have iron ingots. The issue is iron is too general because you can be talking about iron ore, iron blocks or iron ingots. So stuff like that, you actually have to be specific. So I'll do that again and go ingots. And now I have my ingots. That is one thing to keep in mind. Again, this isn't a completely flawless system. These are using chat and it again, can't read your mind of what you need because if I iron blocks or ore in this chest, it won't really know what to take. The corporeal interceptor is a way of telling you if you're out of a certain item. What I mean by this is it works similar to the funnel. If you have an item frame and an item on that item frame and you try to make a request from either an index or a funnel in your network, and let's say you don't have any of it. It will send a redstone signal notifying you that you're out. So let me get rid of that. Let's say I want to get some spruce planks. I'll put them in and then I will flip the switch. You can see that lit up and well, I have no spruce planks. And if I check my chest, I will not find any. This is because if we run out back, you can see that this is a corporea interceptor with a spark attaching to it, as well as item frames on it for spruce planks, purple wool, and andersite. So if I'm out of any of these items, well, it will let me know. This also can be used a different way. You can put items on here like maybe iron sword or just planks in general. And if you try to make requests of them, when they send out a redstone signal, you can have it associated with a crafty crate to then craft the item you want. Let's say I need planks. That's fine. I'll just put it in an interceptor, have a redstone signal going to a crafty crate with it. Boom, don't have any. It's now have it crafted, put it in the system, and then I can just make the request again. But instead of me having to make the request again, I can simply use a corpia retainer. And this will remember unfilled requests, such as you can see, I now have a redstone signal attached to it. What this means is since this interceptor has received a request it cannot fill, this has it and it emits a redstone signal. Now, the only way to actually read the redstone signal is you need to have a comparator attached to it. And the signal strength is only one block. But what this does is again, it associates a redstone signal. So I can now go bam. And now this lamp is lit. I can have it signaled any other way, but it tells me that, that well, it can't fill a certain request. And, that it will, and then if I have it associated correctly, 
It will then tell me what it is. I know for a fact it's either I'm out of purple wool, I'm out of spruce planks, or I'm out of andersite. I'm sorry, I'm out of granite. So you can do this, and when this retainer is given a redstone signal, it will make the request again and have it go to the item that it is associated with where it was made. So let's say I put, let me go toss some spruce planks into my system. Go and go, bam, we got some spruce planks. All right, come back here and there's a lever next to it. I will flip the lever. You can see everything shuts off. Now, if I go back around and check this chest here, I now have my 16 spruce planks. So you can have it sit. You can have this set. Uh, you can have this system set up to where it just so after you make a request, it tells you what you're out of. So you can then add it in again, have it set up with the crafty crate, put it on a rotation that after a while it will then reactivate itself. But one thing to note about the retainer is that when it, it emits a redstone signal, if it receives another one, it will not only make the request, it will not reset itself if the order is still not filled. It will send the request, and if it's not filled, the interceptor won't intercept that. So that's something to keep in mind when you're setting up a corporea system. The last thing we'll go over is the corporea crystal cubes. What these are is a way of telling how many of a certain item you have in your system. Now these will need to be connected to your network with Corporea Sparks. But as you can see, I know I have 512 stone in my network, as well as 511 dirt. So let me toss this one in. And you can see I now have 512. I have a stack in here. I'm now to 576. This is just a nice visual if you have a bunch of chests set up elsewhere and you want to know how many you have of items you use all the time. Planks, logs, sticks, cobblestone, or anything like that. This is a nice way to tell. What you can also do is you can also lock it because if I right click with something in my hand, it overrides it. Unless I lock it, which you can see that it has been locked. What this does, take the wand of the forest shift right click and it is now locked so you can have easy identifiers to know what exactly is in your storage system now you have all you need to continue your journey through botania that is all for you today if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe for more minecraft guides and the occasional other video but thank you all for watching and i hope you have a good day bye